If you want to watch a movie, you do that through the videos app. Now you can watch videos like a TV show, a movie, a home movie that you might take with your iPad camera, and a music video. This lesson will take a look at the videos app. When you open up the videos app, and you've got a number of tabs at the top there, you can either watch your movies, your TV shows, your music videos, or your home videos, or you can go directly to the store, or tap that store button, it will take you to the iTunes store where you could purchase any of music, movies, TV shows uh, to watch in the videos app. If you wanted to buy a music video, then just search for the artist. So if I put somebody's name in and search, the search results will give you, first of all, songs, then albums and movies, ringtones, and somewhere in this long list will be the music videos. And so you can tap that video. It has a purchase price, it has the details, reviews, etc. You can have a little preview of it if you, if you click the play and then you can buy that. And when you have, it'll be downloaded to, so we go back out of the iTunes store and back into videos and music videos will, will be available in the music videos tab. Now anything with a cloud on it means that I've purchased that music video or the TV show or a movie from the iTunes store and it's in my iTunes account but it's not actually loaded onto the iPad. If I want to watch any of these things I can tap the cloud and it will start downloading and be stored on the iPad or actually can just tap the actual video. So I've tapped that video and there is a play button there so I can actually start to play that video as long as I've got an internet connection and plenty of data, because it's a, an HD movie, so it's a good three or four gigabytes, which will take a bit of data. So I can stream it and play it. And if I choose to stream it, and I've watched the whole movie, and then I want to watch it again, if I stream it again, then I'm going to use another lot of data. If I download it, so tapping the cloud, will download that movie to the iPad, and then I've only paid for the data download once and that movie will stay on the iPad until I delete it or I sync it with iTunes and store it on my hard drive. And into Mrs. Brown's Boys and I've bought two episodes out of that series. And if I want to buy any more, I can show the complete season which will show me the rest of the episodes and I can buy them episode by episode and they will download to the videos app or I can download the one I've already purchased. So if I download by tapping the cloud, uh, that episode will start to download and will stay there until I delete it. So the example, the one above that has been downloaded. So if I don't want it, I can swipe to the left, then I can delete that episode, which I will. And that episode is now off the iPad and I would have to download it again from my account. Now the other way you can get movies on your iPad is using iTunes. So on a computer, you'd need to have a computer for this. You can store all of the media, movies, TV shows, music videos and home videos. You can store them on a hard drive on your computer and use iTunes to copy them to and from the iPad. And that's called syncing. And as soon as I open iTunes and my iPad is connected to my computer through the USB charging cable, and I can see here at the top there, there are two devices that iTunes can see. One of them is the iPad. But on the top here are all the different libraries that iTunes has. So it has all the, the music and any mu movies that I have downloaded any TV shows and so there's many more TV shows that I have either purchased from iTunes or I have ripped from DVDs that I've purchased and you have uh, that was all music videos are sort of part of the music library. When you go into your actual device 
and then you'll see some tabs so for tv shows if i wanted to copy some tv shows from my hard drive from my media library and watch them on my ipad so i want to actually physically store them on the ipad providing you've got enough memory you do that through itunes so if you haven't bought them from, from uh, the iTunes store and downloaded them directly or streamed them directly, then you have to copy them from your computer. So if I wanted to watch um, any TV shows, first of all, I have to select Sync TV Shows. And if I select Automatically Include All Shows, then you can see at the bottom there, then there is not enough room to hold all of the TV shows that are sitting on my hard drive. I only want to have um, maybe the all unwatched episodes of a selected show. So perhaps I wanted to watch Kath and Kim. And I want to watch all unwatched episodes of a selected show, but I don't want season three or season four or season two, two. I just want season one. So I can select all of season one to copy across, then tap apply. And then you can see at the top it's waiting to sync across. So when the sync process starts, it copies everything from the iPad. So it's like it's going to do a backup first, back up everything on the iPad, copy across all the apps, and then it's going to copy across what I've asked it to do in the TV shows. Or it might delete TV shows from my iPad if I've asked it to do that. Uh, you do the same with, with the movies, so that what movies you want, what music you want, what podcasts and books, you, you can copy on and off from your iPad and then you play them in the Videos app. So let's just take a look at the controls on a video. Now I can't show you the recording in real time because it won't, uh, it just crashes my, my system. So what I've taken is a still from the Videos app, so I can just look at the playback controls and how you can scrub and fast forward through your video. So this will work for whatever you're looking at, a TV show, a home video, music video, a movie. Now, at the bottom here is the volume control. So if you want to uh, use that volume instead of the volume buttons, you can do that directly while you're playing it. The play button. So this also serves as a pause and a stop button. Now you can go fast forward, or go to the next chapter using using that button and you can go backwards using that button I'm holding my finger on the playhead and then just drag down slide your finger down and you can adjust the scrubbing rate so if I hold my finger down and then scroll to the right still holding my finger onto the the iPad's glass I can fast forward through that video and that's called scrubbing through it when you finish the uh, video there's the done button that will stop it playing and it also gives you the total time. So it's a uh, 24 minutes 19 of a 37 minute 50 second TV episode. And there is a, a button here that will actually take uh, full screen. So if you've got any black bars uh, around the, the video, it will take those away. Now, the other thing to check with iTunes is if you are home sharing turned on because you can share your media library to your iPad or your iPhone. So in iTunes, in the file menu, and I'm using a Mac, so maybe in a different menu on a Windows, but you simply turn on home sharing and you do that by putting in your Apple ID. And then anything that's on the in the iTunes library can be played, can be accessed from my iPad as long as my iPad is in the same wireless network and the computer that has the iTunes media library is turned on. So I want to go back to the iPad. There is a videos app and you need to make sure that you've signed in to home sharing. And there's a couple of other uh, controls there. Start playing where you left off or the other is from the beginning. So if you start a, a movie and you only watch half of it then the next time you come back to that movie it will resume where you left if you have that selected. And if you turn that one on, then any videos that are stored in the cloud will be shown, even if you haven't got them loaded onto your iPad. Then we go back into the Videos app. You can see, if I go back to TV shows, there is a shared library. You can also see 
that the movies is gone. And the movies is gone because I just asked it to turn off anything that was up in the cloud. And because I have no other movies on this iPad, there's nothing to be seen there. Let's go back in and turn that on. Back in the videos app. And now everything else comes back. So if I have that setting turned off, the only things that I'm going to be able to see in the videos app are media that is actually stored on the iPad. And you can see all the little clouds there. So in the movies, all the clouds indicating that, that I've got that media, but it's not downloaded. I have to stream it or download it. So every going to shared. And what you have to do is connect to the actual shared library. So the iMac library belongs to the computer that has the iTunes software on it, and the hard drive is connected to that iMac computer. So if I tap that, I'm now connecting to that shared library. So that wherever I am in the house, I can view any of the media that is stored in that iMac iTunes account, that media library. And multiple people can use it at the same time. So someone else in the house can have another iPad and they can be watching something else or an iPhone or a Mac computer, Windows computer. They can all be watching something different. So it takes a minute or two to actually connect to that iMac library, depending on how much media you have. As the shared library is accessed, then all of the videos or TV shows, movies, music videos are able to be accessed. So I went back into TV shows, and these are all the shared TV shows. And it's taking a few moments for the cover art to load. But once they've loaded, then you've got access to all these TV shows, all of which are stored on a hard drive that is attached to a computer in another room and that has the iTunes library on it. So I can go into the TV show and I have all the episodes and I can watch them and they're being streamed from the hard drive that has the iTunes library. Now the other show that we copied across before, we'll turn off shared. To turn it off, just go back to the iPad. Uh, Kath and Kim, which was the, the show that I streamed across before, it's actually taken all the episodes. So there's all those episodes that were synced across using iTunes. So in the videos app is where you play any type of video, whether you've downloaded it from iTunes, purchased it from iTunes, it's from your own personal collection that you've synced, or it's a video that you took with the iPad's camera. So that's all for this lesson.